Hola primas, welcome back to my channel. That feels so weird to say, but I'm so happy to be back. Today we are escaping a funk. I have been in this rut, this funk for the past couple of months and it needs to change. I have just been overall not loving life. I have been stuck in this same like cycle of perpetual not satisfaction. It's not good, I want to change it. I want to be like those girls that wake up at 4 in the morning. I looked up on YouTube like how to escape a funk. And the video I watched, the girl was like, drink lemon water. Go to Pilates. I'm beyond lemon water, girl. It's not gonna save me. Lemon water is not gonna save me. Obviously, like any gorgeous girl, I made a list to escape this funk, okay? Number one, I need to clean my room. My room is a mess, un chiquero. Disgusting. They say like healthy, clean room, clean mind. Obviously, we're not there. The room is a mess. I need to clean it. Number two, we need to be that girl, unfortunately. We need to wake up early, like 5 a.m. before everyone else. I am waking up like on the later end of like noon. And I'm wondering where my day goes. I slept it. I slept it away. And after all our hard work, we obviously have to get a sweet treat because again, I'm a girl. Duh. Before we get started, I should probably introduce you to my children. My firstborn child, Alfonso, Fonsi, Mochi, más hermoso de todo el mundo entero, mi vida. My daughter, mi hija. Just like her mother. Franny, di hola. Franny, di hola. It's your debut, Francis. Este es Franny, se llama Francisco. His name is Francisco, Francis, Franny, también Mochi, because he has lots of rolls. Can you see? He reminds me of Mochi, like the Mochi dough. I love when his tongue sticks out. I have to be scratched. It's his favorite activity in the whole world. And if you stop, he gets mad. <laughs> he won't get off the couch now. Look what you've done. Let's go, Patty. He's like, no, thank you. I'm gonna leave and see if he follows me. Vente. Vente. Come on. Come on. Vente. Vente, away. Putting a sauna on your bed, the, what are they called, sheets, is the worst thing ever. And obviously I've been avoiding it for a very long time. Because I never know what side goes where, bro. I don't know. Republican or anything, but these my pillows are actually really good. I even have a mini one for travel. Mike Lindell, please sponsor me one day. I need to move out. I need to move out because this, like, where is the pizzazz? Where is the life? This doesn't even have life. As, like, normal childhood rooms have more life than this room, bro. Like, this is full of like agony and anguish. <laughs> The bed is made, sort of, it's good enough. Next, I need to pick up the cans around this room. The water bottles, the soda cans. Don't pretend you're not the same. Get those water bottles from behind your bed, huh? All the cans in my room tour. All the sparkling water. Another sparkling water. Yakult. Ginger ale. Sprite. Not as bad as I thought, but we still have cups. Now here's my bedroom cup tour. 2015 grad, I don't know who graduated in 2015. Not me. Miscellaneous blue. This came with my new Vitamix blender. My Fonsi cup. Miscellaneous church pink cup. Two glasses. And my most recent addition is my water bottle, which is from today, so. I feel like I'm a runner right now, but. I'm being honest, okay? At least I'm being honest, not hiding. That is so cute. Okay, I'm so easily amused. Hi! Okay, Brimas, I did like a rough clean of just about everything. It's not perfect, but neither are you. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I have really bad TMD. 
TMJ, TMD, if you didn't know, and it is debilitating. I know I said I wanted to wake up hella early tomorrow, but girl, um, it's hella early today. It's 3.45. I still have to get up and wash my face and do the things, and I just would rather stick to my makeup, to be honest. So, I don't know. Motivation snaps. I don't know. Ooh. Nighttime skincare routine. Okay, I always double cleanse. I love this one from my own money's oil cleanser. I've used so many oil cleansers and this is the best, most affordable one I have found. This is my favorite way to take makeup off. It's very basic, girl approved. Even if you wear all these sunscreen, you have to be double cleansing to get it all off. You guys said I wash my face again. Make sure you use a water-based cleanser now. So you make sure you don't have any oil residue on your skin. Now my most important nighttime step is exfoliating. This is a really busted one from uh, Stratia, the Soft Touch AHA, and it has mandelic acid, which is something I never used until this product brought me changes on my skin like this. I've been using this by Oma Toner Spray. I don't know that it's necessary, but it's very fun. I've been using this spray toner. I don't really know what it does. They say hydration. I don't really feel hydration. Because going on the skin, it feels like water. It does not feel moisturizing, but no, oh, I don't know. People say it helps with their skin texture though. I don't know if that's true. I use this Stratia peptide cream. Peptides are a great ingredient for, I don't know, but they sound healthy, right? Um, I really like Stratia as a skincare brand. I find everything is simple, but genuinely so effective. There's no gimmicks and everything just works. It has a bunch of good stuff and I find it's really been helping my skin barrier. Moisturizing and taking care of my skin barrier has been the number one thing that has helped my skin texture alongside that exfoliation product. I also use a liquid cold as a moisturizer or a serum if you use it both ways because it is so lightweight. It has like fatty acids and a bunch of unique moisturizing agents that really, really penetrate the skin. Lastly, my favorite moisturizer is Waleda Skin Food. Disclaimer, this product is very thick. Be careful, I don't know how this would work on acne prone skin. This is like the most intense moisturizer I've ever owned. I don't know if you can see like that like insane plump glow it gives. Again, optional eye cream if you want. Uh, this was also sent to me. I did not buy this because it is expensive, but it is good. If you have super, super dry skin or if one night week you really want like the most intense moisture of your life, I would recommend sealing in all your skincare with an oil, like, what is this, argan oil? Okay, the skincare is done, I look oily, and I like that, okay? I need to get new lights for this room because I cannot live with these yellow lights. Like, they distort everything. Anyway, I got this silk pillowcase to sleep on because my hair is curly and I want to, like, protect it and protect the curls and, you know, be, be a girl. I wish I could do, like, an aesthetic room tour, but girl, it's these four walls. This is all we got. My children, my Smith. what are they called, Smithskies? I have my camera on auto and when I put it up to my Sunny Angels, it puts it on infant mode, bro. What does that mean, infant mode? Like I said, not a Republican, but the my pillows are good. I have a horrible neck and back and jaw and this is like the only comfortable pillow I've ever found in my life. Oh, it's like silky. Bitch, it's a silk pillowcase, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. It even has a zipper. Oh, that's nice. I feel like I'm gonna get this so dirty if I fall asleep with my makeup on because I do that every day. I swear I bought this like a cheetah print, not solid white. I'm not clean enough for a white pillowcase. Who do I think I am? And my room looks a lot better. It's not perfect, but progress is progress. That's what this is all about. Just little changes day by day to try to make myself feel better. I realize I can't do that in one day, but... Paso a paso se llega lejos, mijo. I think one of my next videos is gonna be like my mega glow up because like I need to dye my brows again. I want to put on lash extensions because I miss the lash extensions. I really do. I used to get them all the time, but I hated like laying there for hours waiting for them to put them on. I just am impatient. I started doing them myself and they looked okay. Like no one's looking at me that close. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. Good night. Good morning. I did not wake up at 5 a.m. It is, it's currently 9.30 in the morning, which is better, okay? It's not five. We'll get there, we'll get there though. Stage one is to make my bed. My tia says that if you do it, like you wire your brain to feel like you accomplished something, so you're already on the right foot to having a great day.
We made the bed, okay. Ouch. Okay, well, there's no light in here. Okay, I just went out quickly to run a few errands that I had to do last minute, and I stopped to get some snackies with my mother. I got some botanas. Um, since we established earlier that, like, up here, I don't think the best sometimes, what I have noticed that has always helped is when I stay consistent with my vitaminas, my vitamins, which I never take. Normally, I'm deficient in everything known to man. So keeping up with these really helps, okay? So let's go do my vitamin tour. Number one, we must take our vitamin D3. So don't do anything because your doctor telling you. Don't do it because I do it. Number two, I take my B complex because I feel like mine is always deficient. I don't know. I like to keep it higher than lower. According to my doctor, not just the delusion, okay? That smells disgusting. B12 because I've been deficient since I went vegan and that was my fault, not the diet's fault. I was young and dumb and doing things weirdly. I would still be vegan if I could, but I feel everyone I've talked to says to not do it if you have thyroid problems and girl, I got thyroid problems up the wazoo. I've been cursed, like I have like silent killers. God really wanted me to suffer in silence. If you didn't know, <laughs> biology class, sit down, you will be quizzed on this. A thyroid kind of controls the hormone levels in your body and releases certain hormones and this that, and other so when it doesn't work, <laughs> Your body's like, where are the hormones? And you just don't know that because you don't, you can't talk to the thyroid, you know? So you just suffer. The symptoms are like weird things like weight gain for no reason because your metabolism doesn't work because your body is literally slowing down because it's dying because it doesn't have the hormones to do what it needs to do. You lose your appetite. You're not eating, but you're gaining weight. Okay, that's like, God, why? Why? Being cold all the time, oh my god, I'm still cold to this day, 24-7, even if it's like 30 degrees outside, I'm freezing cold Celsius. I have hypothyroid problems, Hashimoto's, Hashimoto gang. <laughs> so this really funny TikTok that was like, which autoimmune disease are you? I'll put it in, it's really funny. Anyway, let's keep it going. I take turmeric for um, inflammation because I have a lot of inflammation in my body. This is the worst one, but allegedly really the best one. Omega-3s, fatty acids, really good for your brain and everything. I don't know if there's any vegan sources. This comes from fish and you can tell. <laughs> mm. Fish food smells good. Like, let's be real. Fish food smells good. This does not smell like fish food. It smells disgusting. Okay, and last but not least, I have been incorporating some magnesium into my diet because if you didn't know, again, miss, let me put my science hat back on. A lot of the times, people do not get the level of magnesium they need. I'm really into, like, naturopathy. I think that's how you say it. Give me the acupuncture. Give me the crystal healing. Just kidding. I do not believe in crystal healing. I'm just going to say that right now. Okay, I'm an Aquarius, so I do have to collect amethyst for the astrology aesthetic. That concludes our little vitamin tour. Oh my gosh, I got some calico critters from one of my great friends, Eva. If you don't know what calico critters are, then maybe you're a grown, boring man. But I'm a girl. It's little fuzzy creatures and they're adorable and have feelings. So anyway, let me show you the new ones I got. I got this little guy. He's so cute. He has a little uh, turban and a feather. I hope this is not like insensitive to any culture. I'm sorry. I'm just a consumer. Also, I got that cute little bear. Look at the lace. That is so La Mita del Rey. Are you joking me right now? And he comes with a little basket with a donut with a bear on it. Like, I'm okay. That is the most gorgeous thing ever. And this one I already had also from my friend Eva. This little bunny with pigtails. But I feel like I have to have them close together. And I feel bad because this one's alone. But he has hello kitty zombie. So the struggles of being a girl are very real. Your struggles are valid. That's a struggle for me. Okay, before I go, I want to ask you the real ones. I feel like if you're on YouTube, you are the realest of the real. Unless you have found my spam account on TikTok. So I want to ask you guys the real ones. What video do we want to see next? I have lots of ideas flowing in the vault. I don't want to say too much because there are snakes. There are pájaros in el alambre. They are listening and they are soothing and they are scheming against me. I need to put my evil eye bracelet back on. I'm thinking about doing like a, a, an in-depth guide to makeup. 
you know, you're just starting out, you're kind of confused, you don't know where to start, girl, I got you. Be my big sister vibes, you know? I'm stressing out, bro. I'm, this this world of content creation is actually difficult. Like, I, un I underestimated it. I underestimated it. I'm about to be coming soon. That's not funny. Robotics are not funny. Anyway, let me know what kind of videos you guys want. I know I plan on doing like chill videos too, like vlog type things. I'm just getting started on here and it's a little overwhelming. Also, I thought of myself like telling you guys like how everyone says, oh, subscribe at the end of each video and I wanted to throw up. So I don't think I'll ever say that. I'll never ask you to subscribe. I'm like the church, you know? The church is not asking you for money, but they're holding a tray in front of your head. Like, do you have any money in your pockets? Um, do you have Venmo? Do you have a check? I'm not gonna ask, but do with that what you will. Bye!